In today's video, what I want to cover is the Apple news. Let's get into this video and make sure you stay till the end because I've got some questions I want to ask you guys and you can leave those in the comments. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, click that little bell notification, you'll get notified when all my other videos come out. So we are now finally in the month of August, which basically means school is coming back in session, at least for most states in Texas, for sure, school is coming back soon. Well, August is also one month prior to when Apple finally gets to release the new iOS softwares, as well as the new devices. We're looking at some new iPhones, probably three of them, uh, with a triple camera on the back, updated hardware, not by much, just minor. We're looking at iOS 13, which is the updated software. We're looking at also the updated watchOS, macOS, and tvOS. For what Apple has announced on the iPads, how much of an upgrade they're going to get, or even the Macs. And we're not even sure at this point if they're going to release an Apple Watch Series 5, because for right now there's been no rumors on the Watch Series 5, only on uh, watchOS 6, which is the software. So that is what we've got in store for August, guys. We've got one month, we've got a couple more betas, iOS 13, and then we have all the new stuff coming out in September. In the next news, also coming out in August, we have the new Apple credit card. So in case you guys haven't updated to iOS 12.4, which is the current software, make sure your device is compatible, update your iPhones to iOS 12.4, and then sometime within the month of August, which they said early August, we should be getting the Apple credit card. Now, if you're watching this after August, all you have to do is go to the wallet app, and you should see a place in there where it says you can apply for the credit card now and sign up and do all the, the regular credit card procedures. The credit card from Apple is very unique in the sense that there's no late charges, no late fees, and also they give you percentages back like 3% for all Apple purchases, 2% for all Apple Pay purchases, and then if you opt in to get their physical card, all the locations that don't have Apple Pay, you'll get 1%. Now I know these percentages are low now. Most other credit cards give you a higher percentage, but just give it time for this credit card to be out in the market, probably in about a year or so, and you'll see those percentages probably go up to where the other credit cards pretty much cannot compete. So that we're gonna get in August, guys. Next news, we have the iOS 13 betas. And right now, I think we're up to beta four at this point. There might and possibly could be about seven or eight betas total. Maybe more, maybe less. But that's what we're expecting before its final release sometime within, I would say, mid to end of September. We should get iOS 13. The main things about iOS 13 is it's going to definitely optimize your devices, even some older devices. You're going to get, of course, dark mode. You'll get the new reminders app. You'll get new mail features. You'll get new call blocking features. So it, it's going to be packed full with a lot of stuff. That's why I say when the new devices come out, really with iOS 13, your old device will seem like a new device. Now I don't recommend sticking with an old device on iOS 13, just for the fact that even if the software is optimized, your old device is going to slow down. So that brings me into our last part of the video today, which is going to be covering iPhone 11. Now, if you haven't seen my last video I did for iPhone 11, make sure you look up here, click on the card above or down the link below in the description. And basically what I talked about is the iPhone 11 is not going to be an innovative device. It's not going to be fantastic, amazing, make you all want to buy it, but it is going to be buyable though, because what's going to hold iPhone 11 the most is going to be the software that running iOS 13 on the iPhone 11, that's gonna be the key. The iPhone 11, yes, will have better cameras, which is good for all of us on YouTube and on Instagram and those, those other networks. We'll have a faster processor. It might have 3D touch or might have haptic touch, one of the two. Will be the last phones using the lightning charging cable. So just know that the phones coming out in 2020 will probably be using USB-C. So this will be the last ones for that. Still come with wireless charging. It's overall going to be a pretty good phone. Uh, it might be a bump up above the iPhone XS's. 
So if you are in need of upgrade, in other words, you've got a phone, let's say iPhone 10 or below, because those are all discontinued, the iPhone 11 will be a good upgrade for you. If you love your iPhone 10s, well, stick with it, wait until 2020. So finally, guys, this is the question I got for you. For one, are you gonna be getting the iPhone 11? If you are, let me know in the comments. What do you think about the Apple credit card? You think it's gonna be something good? Is it gonna be something you're gonna use? I wanna know, let me know in the comments below. Last but not least, what do we have upcoming for Apple in 2020? Because 2020 is gonna be a big year. One of the main, main features we're gonna get in 2020 is 5G network. And the 5G network, Apple will probably release a phone in September that can support it, will mean speeds that we have not seen before. Now, is this gonna be a good thing? Is this gonna be a bad thing? We won't know until 5G becomes mainstream. But we're gonna have a 5G network for the cell phones. We're gonna have USB-C for the charging. So fast charging, fast network. Looks like that it's gonna be a good year. Now, the way the shape or way to form the phones are gonna be, that is pretty much up in the air. But will they change? Possibly. Possibly 2020, we will see a new design of the phone. It could also be 2021. So don't hold your hopes up, just in case. But that is what we have upcoming in the future right now. Let's go ahead and finish out whatever's going through in August. And then I'll keep you guys up to date as everything goes through in September with the keynotes and the new devices and the new software. All right, I thank you guys for coming here and watching this video. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe, hit that button below, click that bell, and let me know in the comments. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say in the comments. Let's start a conversation and figure out what Apple's got in store. And if you're excited, if you're not excited, if you're mad, if you don't care, let me know. All right, and I will come back and catch you guys with more videos. Thank you for watching.